have just realized that I blend in with the wall. That's exquisite, really. <laughs> it's literally the same color. Anyways, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I thought we would do another I tried zero waste products kind of video because I feel like everybody finds them really helpful. I've tried a few things. Honestly, this is kind of a random hodgepodge of things as these videos normally are. I have like five or six things. This is kind of a short one, but truthfully, I don't do much other than put my sweats on and stay in my house these days. So I can't say I've gone out of my way to try many things, which maybe is just indicating where my depression has been. <laughs> just being honest there. But yeah, I have a couple of things that I thought I would mention, things that I've found to be helpful in my journey and hopefully they're helpful to you guys too. As always, not all of these are like 100% zero waste. Obviously there is some waste created involved, created involved involved in the creation of these things. Nothing is perfect. That's always a disclaimer that I put on these videos. I also want to mention that some of these things I bought myself, some of them were sent to me. If I'm honest, in this video specifically, most of them have been sent to me. Although none of them recently. Honestly, most of these were in like 2019. I just have still been using them. And these are my honest opinions. So that's all I got. Let's jump in. This is kind of a random one as I said, like all of the things in this video are, but I've wanted to try one of these for a really long time. This is a glass nail file. Don't know if anybody cares about my journey with my sustainable nail journey, but I don't wear nail polish anymore. That's something that I personally gave up. I don't think everybody needs to, but it just wasn't something that I felt I needed in my life. I just don't know how anybody keeps up with it. I'm really making myself look bad. No, but if I'm honest, I just could never keep up with keeping my nails painted and not chipped. So I was just like, we're done with you nail polish. So I haven't really worn any in a couple years, but I still need to kind of cut and file them. And I had tried out using a reusable metal file and I was using that for a while and I was wondering why my nails kept breaking because normally they don't. Apparently metal nail files make your nails a little bit more brittle was what I was told. I ended up shifting for a glass one. I couldn't find a brand that was somewhat ethical or sustainable that made one of these, which is kind of ironic. So I ended up getting this one off of Etsy. The shop that I got it from is Blue Lemon Art. She paints all these little things onto the edge of it. And I bought the oranges because I thought it was really cute, but she's got a ton of really cute little designs that she paints on there. And I figured if you can't find it from a sustainable shop, supporting a small business is a good second option. And I thought that the painting was a really cute touch. So the thing with a glass nail file is it is infinitely reusable. Most of them usually come in like a little slip like this. All you have to do is once you're done filing your nail, you rinse it under some water and then it's good to go over and over and over again. Number one, they're fragile. So it's probably not gonna last you forever. Probably gonna break it at some point. Somebody on Instagram told me that they put theirs in a sunglasses case, which I thought was really clever. And I think that's what I'm gonna probably do just to keep it extra protected. And then the second thing that you should probably know about them is the main part of the file. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not sharp. I go like this on it my hand isn't getting charred up or anything. Definitely a frosted glass kind of vibe. I mean, maybe that's exactly what it is. I don't technically know what the difference between this and frosted glass would be. I am in no way a glass expert. If there are any of those out there, <laughs> let a girl know. Because it's glass, it takes a while to get your groove quite literally, figuring out what angle you want to file at because you're gonna end up hearing some nails on a chalkboard situation at some point. And um, I don't know, maybe it's just me. One would like to avoid that. So it definitely takes some getting used to, but once you do, it works really, really well. You just wanna keep it extra safe so that it doesn't break and you wanna make sure you're going at the right angle. Usually I find it's like one direction that works better than going both directions. You know when you file your nails and you, you go both directions, Usually it's just one direction that you kind of have to keep going in. I don't know, that seems to do the job. And truthfully, I'm loving this a lot. I love that it's infinitely reusable. I don't have to worry about my nail file getting to the crazy point of being just unusable anymore. And uh, my nails seem very healthy. So very pleased, highly recommend. And I also recommend Blue Lemon Art, who I will link in the description box, along with all the other products that I'm gonna mention. 
taking my supplements is incredibly important to me, which brings us into today's sponsor, Care Of. I've mentioned them in the past. They've been a really big part of my wellness and supplement routine for probably the last like six or seven months. I'd been taking supplements that I couldn't find in sustainable packaging, and I found Care Of, who will make a custom lineup of daily supplements for you and your needs, and they all come in sustainable, compostable packaging. I feel like as somebody who's always stressed, taking care of my mental health and my brain's health is really important to me, just to make sure that it's functioning as best as possible so that I can feel as best as possible. It also feels really good knowing that my personal dietary concerns and allergies are taken into context when formulating my daily supplement mix, so I know everything is vegan and plant-based. My daily pack, which was formulated personally for me, has a combination of their B-complex vitamin, a staxithin, and a veggie omega to support my cognitive health, as well as American ginseng to support memory and focus. So how it works is you go on their website and you take this really short quiz and it basically aligns your dietary preferences, your own personal goals. So maybe it's not cognitive health, maybe it's something just more general. Maybe you wanna make sure you're getting all of your winter vitamins in and they'll formulate a daily pack to help you with your goals. I also think it's good to note that even though it's not January, starting goals that make you feel better doesn't have to be just a new year's resolution thing. February is not too late. March is not too late. July or August are not too late. You can start feeling better at any point at any time. Click the link in description to take the quiz and find out what supplements Care of recommends for you and get 50% off your first order with my promo code. Moving on to some hair care. Hi, I practice zero waste practices and I have a glass jar. Shocking, one might say. I'm just moving from one bathroom to another. I just usually use a glass jar to move things around. I started using these this summer. These are the... What is the name of these ones? Lush has so many more shampoo and conditioner bars than I thought. Wow. Okay, I have the American Cream Conditioner and I think it's the Angel Hair Bar. I'm gonna do some further research and I'll edit it on the screen. I haven't used a Lush conditioner or shampoo since I began this journey. Truthfully, suds up, suds is up really, really well. There is a slight pink sheen to it, which I don't know why that was shocking to me, but it was shocking to me. I've been using both of these probably since July or August. So I've been using them for a while, kind of on and off. I do really like them a lot more than I thought I would. As of right now, they're my B tier bars, meaning like I have my favorites and then these are like my backup. Like they've always got me, they're good, they're accessible. You can get to a Lush pretty much anywhere. I find that this conditioner actually surprised me. I felt like the previous conditioners that I had tried from Lush, the previous conditioner bars weren't hydrating enough. They didn't, they didn't come off the bar enough. Like I didn't get enough of the product into my actual hair. This one kind of works like a serum, like I love with any of my favorite conditioner bars. And honestly, I've just been quite impressed with both of them. My only thing that kind of knocks me down a little bit from them is that I feel like there's a little bit of residue left on my hair. It's not the most residue you've ever experienced. It just feels like it's there. And personally, I don't love that, but that might not be a massive concern for you. Especially with wavy hair, I just feel like it does weigh it down a little bit, but also some days I like it because some days it counteracts frizz. So honestly, I think all in all, they're a great bar. I have no major complaints about them, I guess is what I'm saying. I definitely recommend them. I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think I was gonna like them just based off of, I used to use the jungle conditioner bar from Lush and I hated it. I do believe that they've reformulated in the last couple of years since I tried them. So yeah, pleasantly surprised. How many times can I say that? <laughs> Tooth care. In my last video that I did of these, I mentioned that I've switched to using Bite, um, tooth tabs, which truthfully are pricey, but I do think are worth the price. There's just something about them that I love so much that to me, I justify the price because I feel like I'm not buying a whole lot of other things in my life. So might not be for you, but personally, I really, really like their tooth tabs, especially with their reformulation now that they have NHA, NAH, nanohydroxy appetite in it. Appetite, appetite chemistry compounds. <laughs> so I have been giving their mouthwash a go. Truthfully, I have nothing negative to say about this, if I'm honest. So third positive review in a row, but it works just as it would any other mouthwash. You just take out a tab, you squish it with your teeth, and then you take a sip of water, swish that around. And I'm not a dentist, so I can't really comment on its total effectiveness, but I feel great using it and haven't noticed anything. It's really all I've got. However, so love the toothpaste love the mouthwash. However, they're floss. As of right now, I don't love. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, 
I don't floss as much as I should. Again, making myself look great in this video. My hygiene habits, they're great, I promise. This is something that I've struggled with since I was a kid. I don't know what it is. I don't floss as much as I should and I'm hoping that by now admitting that, on camera just as I have in the past with my terrible body moisturizing habits hopefully that I'm now held accountable and so for the last couple years I've been using up you know those plastic ones that come on like a stick thing I don't know what it was but every year for Christmas since I was like 15 my mom got me a pack of those trying to send me a message clearly <laughs> that I needed to start flossing and I never used any of them so for the last couple years I've been getting through them and I finally did but I was really really excited that Bite had a vegan home compostable option because in the past I found that really really difficult to find. So it comes in this glass vial which I should have mentioned the mouthwash bits also come in a glass vial. Your first order comes with the case and then you just get refills every single time. And there are a lot of these on the market within the zero waste crowd. Crowd of products, group of products, crew if you will. But it's really hard to find ones that aren't made from silk. Anyways get to the point Christy it breaks in between my teeth and I don't know if this is just a me thing I've never had braces or anything so I have a really bad crowding problem in the bottom of my teeth they're just really like crowding together and I'm gonna need to get Invisalign or something at some point so I don't know if this is just a me thing but in my teeth that are really really tight the floss comes apart it gets stuck in my teeth and then I have to go find my picks or whatever those are called to get it out which kind of defeats the purpose so not ideal. So yeah, didn't totally work out for me. All right, two negative reviews in a row. Anybody else who's tried the patch band-aids, which are supposedly uh, compostable, however, I feel like you shouldn't be composting blood. Does anybody know any facts on that? Let us know in the comments, because they are home compostable, but I also just can. Anyways, I've been trying these for like a really long time now. I've been on the same pack since 2019. Apparently I'm a careful human. Apparently I never need to use band-aids, so. Look at that, nowhere near empty. But no, mostly that's because I can't get them to stick on my skin. They don't stay there. That really seems like their only purpose. They are meant for burns and blisters and they do have aloe vera in the strip though, which is a really nice feature. But I don't know, I just couldn't get them to stick on my skin, so. Am I the only one? Has anybody else had the same experience? Did I just get like a dud pack or something? I, it really seems like it's their only job. Okay, this is my last like kind of random thing and then I have three clothing things I wanna, this is four. I don't even know if you can see. This is four. I have three random clothing brands I wanna talk about, but kapow. They are smoothie balls as they call them, which to me, they're kind of just like those superfood balls that you get that are like mostly dates some nuts usually maybe some protein powder really instagram trendy that you can get at an all raw shop love me one of those shops not gonna lie i go in i feel like i'm at home does that only happen once a year because i'm broke yes but you know i still feel like i'm at home they're delicious we're gonna start with that as is expected because those types of desserts are delicious but what's really cool about these is this brand reuses all of the discarded parts of a cacao shell i can show you the diagram here this is what a cacao looks like and we take out the beans from the cacao shell and then we discard all of the pulp that's in the middle so there's a whole part of the fruit that is just misused so cacao's whole thing is they're using all of the parts that would otherwise be wasted so they're repurposing food waste which is amazing and makes me so happy they do come individually wrapped which it's hard because in this product's case, like, might be necessary. They also use wind power, they're vegan friendly, which I suppose is somewhat expected in something like this. Non-GMO, no, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives. Kind of a marketing gimmick. I will say this is like the one deterrent I have from them, but obviously they come not perfectly plastic free shipping, which is fine. We're in a world where like that's really hard and unattainable to get. So like I totally understand why. What's really cool is that they are encouraging people to recycle these packs properly. So they partnered with a company that used to be called Pantapa, which is a Swedish company, but I think they've rebranded to, I just downloaded their app right before I started filming this video. They've rebranded to, to an app called Bauer. So what you do is you go on the app and you can find a drop-off station for these and then they can be recycled properly. The drop-off company seems to be really, really new. Like it just started in the summer of last year. So I can't imagine that there are tons and tons of drop-off locations, but I did just download the app. You basically download this app, you scan the barcode. It is a Swedish company. So as I was downloading the app, it told me that it was only available in the US, Sweden, and Norway. But again, it's a super new company, so hopefully 
they'll be everywhere soon. It's a cool concept regardless. I'm gonna sign in. I wanna see actually how accessible it would be or are there only locations in like California? You know what I mean? I was gonna record the screen of my app but then I would give away where I live although I am moving so I don't know if that matters but. See like it's a, I don't see any in Seattle at all. Seattle's like a pretty green city. We're not LA or Portland but one would assume. Honestly, I don't totally understand what this app is telling me to do. So like, it's telling me to register a recycling station and it can be my house, which I'm kind of confused by. It says that there's no recycling stations nearby, which leads me to believe that it's like, it's a great idea and it's, it's really great in theory, but like in practice, if I can't access it, then it's it's not gonna work. But again, I think it's a really cool concept and it's a new company, so hopefully there will be these recycling facilities everywhere, or hopefully you can just use the app to locate one. Either way, regardless of what the food comes packaged in, the product itself, the food itself is doing an amazing thing in avoiding food waste, and that's super, super important regardless. These are a thumbs up in my book. I will say, I tried really hard not to eat all of them so that I wasn't just holding packets, but they were so delicious that here we are. I have none left. <laughs> last two things are a pair of shoes and then two clothing brands that I discovered within the last year. The first one are, okay, they're a little gross and dirty because I do actually genuinely wear them. I don't know about you guys, but I'm that person that like, I like shoes, don't get me wrong, but I've never been a shoe person in the sense that all winter I wear the same pair of boots and all summer I wear the same, either I'm either in flip flops or the same pair of flat shoes. I pretty much wear three pairs of shoes for the entire year. Plus like maybe athletic sneakers. I'm not somebody who shakes up my shoes with my outfit, if you know what I mean. I'm pretty basic. <laughs> these are Rothy's. They're made from plastic bottles, which I remember finding out about these a couple years ago and I was like, that's so cool, that's so unique. And now that seems to be everywhere. But I think when it comes to recycling plastic bottles into textiles and into materials, obviously those pieces are still gonna give off microplastics. My question is, if I'm walking, do I give off more microplastics or is it less because I'm not washing them? Like it's not clothing that's getting washed all the time. If anybody has the answer, please let me know. I keep playing with my hair. It's a nervous tick. It's what I do when I'm nervous. I haven't filmed a video in a while. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, I love them very, very much. Really comfortable. I've been skating in them, living my life in them. I noticed that they took a little bit of time to break in, but then after that, super comfortable, super practical. You can just toss them on and go. And they really do go with everything. I've worn them with dresses. I've worn them with skirts. I've worn them with denim. They're pretty universal. And then the two clothing companies that I want to mention that I discovered recently, I don't own many things from like quote unquote sustainable clothing companies, I feel like. I don't know how that's perceived on your guys' end, but I would say like 90 something percent of my wardrobe is all secondhand. That's kind of my belief system. I feel like you should be supporting both, but you should be getting more secondhand and then supporting a little bit of sustainable companies so that we can kind of like encourage a more circular economy and whatnot. Also, I'm just not made of money, really is where I'm at. Two of the companies that I discovered within the last year and I have a couple pieces from are Outer Known, who make kind of like very beachy, summery things. You guys saw a couple dresses that I wore over the summer that I have from them. And then Lucy and Yak, who make these really badass jumpsuits and sweaters. They're based in the UK. Just like really cool badass, like funky colors. Things that you can really express yourself with and are really unique and you're not gonna find them anywhere else. And thought I would mention those. If you're looking for something new and you have the ability and the means and you haven't heard of these companies, I I just think that they make really cute stuff and they're doing really cool things. That's some information and knowledge that we shared today. <laughs> okay, well, I thought that this video was gonna be a lot shorter than it was. I really am just trying to dust my shoulders off from my pretty much all of 2020 hiatus that I took from the internet. It's okay. We felt the self-care, we felt the things, and we set up boundaries for ourselves and like, boundaries are important. If you need to leave the internet, you need to leave the internet. If you need to work through some things, you need to work through some things. Growth is slow, growth is powerful. You do you. Set your own boundaries this year. I think that's super important. Either way, I hope everyone is feeling great and cozy today. As always, if you have any video suggestions or products you want me to review or literally anything, let me know what you wanna see this year because that's really, really helpful. I obviously wanna make what I wanna make, but I more importantly wanna make what is helpful and insightful and accessible to you guys. Like, like I know a lot of these products are kind of bougie. The reason I make them is so that you don't invest in them 
and regret spending that money. Of course, I wanna drive awareness for sustainable swaps, but more importantly, I wanna make knowledge accessible for you guys and things that aren't revolving around buying things. You guys know me, I'm all for upcycling, I'm all for using your grandparents' things um, and making do with what you can and doing what you can for the earth and for the planet and for your mental health and for your self-care. I wanna make as much accessible information as I can this year, that's really my goal. I wanna make it so that living sustainably is not a privileged, gentrified thing as much as possible. So please let me know if you have any questions, any concerns, any video suggestions, please let me know. And I will talk to you guys in the next video where I will be in my new place in Colorado. I'm gonna go, hope you're doing swell. I love you so much. Remember to stay happy, humble, and forever compassionate. And thank you for being uniquely you. Thank you for being you. This universe needs it. Okay, bye!